Hey guys, Majefries here, and welcome back to the Majefries Network on OpenTCD. And we start here today at Guard City St. Peter slash St. Michael. Let's get straight into what's different between this episode and last. So the station itself is pretty much still intact. One of the things I did do was downgrade these trains from the 90 mile per hour ones to the 75 mile per hour ones. Um, why is that empty? That train is completely empty. And it's not supposed to be. Oh well. That's just done so that uh, there's a bit more of a speed c difference between the all stopper and the semi fasts. Because there's, there's, there's a point where the semi fasts are supposed to be overtaking, but they're crawling very slowly past because they're only 10 miles an hour faster. So it's a little bit inefficient. So that's now changed. The other big change is I've added some new towns in this gap. So we've got Trotting Hatton, Chatfield, Little Rendingston, and up here we've got Fort Binville. Fort Binville, not as important as the rest, but uh, these two here, Trotting Hatton and Little Rendingston, are quite important for today's episode because today we are continuing with this tramway that we started over here. Um, except I've kind of shot myself in the foot a little bit with my placement here. <clears throat> Gonna have to do some uh, some moving around. That's fine. I can I can do that. One of the things I'm going to do is take that out, flatten that, pop this back in. And it's now going to go up and over the rail here. So we'll, uh, we'll lower that all down and we'll lower that down. There we go. Right. Um, comments as well. I've had some people commenting, um, as always. And it's always fantastic to see, as always and I want to address those. I will do so in a second because right now um, as you might be able to tell I'm already struggling to get my words out which is never good. It's always when I'm recording that suddenly I have everything to talk about but not the ability to actually say it. It's very frustrating. But anyway we're going to build our bridges like this. Once I've finished building this little bit of, uh, of tramway and roadway then I'll get into what I was going to say um, otherwise I'm just going to completely confuse myself and it won't make very good uh, watching see I'm doing it already I am doing it already right um, we do kind of want this to go up and over like suspension good? no suspension's rubbish viaduct? no modern? yes That does kind of do it. Makes an interesting shape anyway. And then from here, um, all that can go down and that can go down. Like so. No. Like this. And then this one. Like that. There'll be a connection here to town. Um, and I'll put another little road across there. Right, here I guess we'll have a, just a bridge going across. Don't forget, in the future this is all going to be built up. Uh, one way or another. I will make sure that it gets built up. So this will all become part of a busy, bustling cityscape. Right now, it's countryside. But uh, that's how all cities grow. What does that look like? That looks appalling. I think I quite like the look of these viaducts here, actually. Because what I can then do, it's a bit tricky because we've got these tunnels here, but I'd like to extend the waterway this way a little bit more in the future and see how that would look. Probably look really bad, but you never know unless you try. We're going to have that tunnel underneath like that. You're going to come across here, you're going to come across here. And we must nearly be at the right spot. So if I do you there, and we'll do you there take this back slightly. You'll go there and you'll go there and then this one will come down and connect up there and then we'll pop on there and one there and this could be like another roundabout type thing. Put the old one-way arrows in. So all of those and all of those. Uh, here, 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 all of this 
this and this. It's very easy to put these arrows in first and then put the roads in later, obviously. Uh, no, I'm, I was about to change that one, but then I thought that's a bad idea. Right, oops. Need to get my phone ready as well if I'm going to be reading out these comments. <clears throat> Once again, the, the comments are mostly suggestions uh, or ideas or correcting me on mistakes, which again, I still don't have a problem with. I still think that's fantastic. It's sharing the knowledge, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's all very good stuff. You know, if I, if I make a mistake with anything that I say in my videos, please do feel free to correct me. Um, I don't say... Very, very rarely do I ignore people when they try to correct me. And it's only really when I know that I'm right. Which is not very often either. To be perfectly honest with you guys. So, um... Yeah, if I make mistakes, let me know. That's what it's all about. Correcting, making sure that we all know what we're talking about. It's very crucial. Right, I'm going to try and copy the bridges here. So this one's going to be modern suspension. I've still got my bad hand, by the way. Um, I This is where the timeline gets a bit messy. Because as you know, I recorded the last three episodes before Sunday. And I was going to do my live stream on Sunday, and I woke up Sunday morning, and my hand was just on fire, basically. Really, really painful. For just, I think I slept on it or something, which doesn't help, by the way. Uh, if you lean on something when it's injured, it really does not help the recovery. Who knew? But, uh, yeah, that sort of meant that I couldn't do the live stream, which is why I sort of sent out that really, really, really impromptu tweet saying that I couldn't live stream and I wanted to go into more detail but just, even that was quite painful to type out so um, I really should go get it checked out really shouldn't I guys I'm being a bit irresponsible right now but uh, oh well right I'm gonna put a stop there it doesn't really no it doesn't unless I pay for Chatfield to expand That might do it, or I might just make this bigger. I mean, it sort of extended out this way, it just didn't extend the way I wanted it to, which is quite frustrating. Oh well. Um, we'll have another stop down here at Trotting Hatton, and then we'll have another one here for. It's called Lonway. I'm going to rename this. I'm also going to rename the town to just Rendingston. No littles in this city. You are just Rendingston. Like so. And then maybe one more for Brats Braston. No, not Braston. Bardston. Bardston Valley, no. Bardston Avenue, I'm going to call this. There. Right. Shall we get some more trams out? Let's do that. But before I do that, I'm going to read out these comments that I'm holding you in suspense over. So, the one that really stuck out for me was Michael Taylor. Um, hey Mark, I love your videos. I do have two suggestions. One, instead of calling it the Metro, calling it the, call it the Guard City Overground. Two, can you do more of a variety of track for the Metro, like the London Underground? Not all the lines of third rail. Thank you for doing Open TTD. Well, first of all, well, you're welcome. Believe me, it's it's. I owe you a thanks as much as you might feel you owe me one because uh, it's because of people supporting the channel and supporting my videos that I'm carrying on making these. If it wasn't for that, then as I say, it wouldn't wouldn't really exist, which wouldn't be great. But uh, well, it wouldn't it? Mm, no, it wouldn't be great. I'm going to stick with that. It wouldn't be great. Um, the whole metro thing. A lot of people. Are talking about that and I'm a little bit confused really um, it's I I mean I know that Metro means different things in different countries but I never really anticipated that it would cause such a, a sort of debate amongst people um, I, I have explained this before Metro the word Metro is a shortened version of the French word Metropolitan 
which comes from the English Metropolitan. And the reason that it's specifically from the English Metropolitan is because when they built the Paris Metro, the name was based entirely on the Metropolitan Railway. Metro doesn't mean underground. Um, Subterra, I suppose, would mean underground. Or I mean, Subterra is Latin for under Earth, below Earth, something like that. Terra, I think, is Earth, so um, below Earth or under Earth. Anyway, the Metro does not mean underground. Metro is just rapid transit, basically. So this, across here, is my metro system. It's rapid transit. It does have tunnels. It does go underground. So in terms of renaming the system the overground, I'm not going to do that because even the London Underground, more of it, I think it's only 40% of the London Underground is actually underground. The rest of it is above ground. Most of it above ground is actually built on embankments or bridges. So it's not just above ground, it's elevated. And there's a very a uh, good example of that. Let me just get my um, my tube map up because there is a station. Where is it? Oh, advert. Go away, advert. There is a station. It might be West Brompton. No, it's not West Brompton. Where is it? There is a station on the London un Underground and Overground network. And I'm trying to find it so I can actually name it, but I'm struggling here. But the underground actually goes over the overground at this particular station. Which one is it? It's not Wood Lane. I believe it's on the district line. It's on one of the, um, the subsurface lines anyway, so... Um, I will find it at some point, I'm sure. Or someone can just tell me in the comments. That's probably going to be easier for everybody. Uh, but th as I say, the overground is under the underground. Overground is just because they wanted a short, snappy name. And, you know, they had the underground, so why not do the overground? The next one's probably going to be called the Wombling Free. But, um,. That's that's all it means. Metro doesn't mean underground. My metro system, it's got lots of tunnels like here. It's not necessarily underground. Um, so I'm going to keep the name. But it's it's it is a good suggestion. And you know there are there are um, there are times where I would have said, yeah, that's cool. Let's go for it. But because I've got other plans for other metro, not metro lines, sorry, other rapid transit lines within Guard City, uh, I feel like I should save the name for something a bit more. Um, I know you said relevant, but that's completely not the right term. Something a bit more applicable. As I say, I've got I've got more plans, and I'd like to bring them in in the future. Plus, I mean, we've got trams here. This is the Tramlink network, which is going back to my old Cities of Motion 2 days. We've got Tramlink here. I'm considering calling this the Metrolink network. And then you've got, like, the, the, the link is the word link, if you pardon the pun. Anyway, let's, let's, let's actually get these trams out, shall we? And I'm just looking here, and I'm seeing these trams are queuing up considerably, and I don't like that. So what I'm going to do, and this is actually going to play quite nicely into my hands. We've currently got 15 here, and we've got 15 here. I'm going to take 5 from both lines. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Depot, depot. Depot, Depot, and Depot. And then I'm going to take the bottom five from this. One, two, three, four, five. Depot, 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 and Depot. So they're all going to go into the Depot, and I'm going to redo them. The other thing I want to do, because I'm fed up of these vehicles running late, is I'm going to increase their stopping time at these stops. So you're currently set for 300. I'm going to set you for 350 at each one. They seem to take an age to load, and I really don't know why. They take longer than a train, and I would expect a train to take a long time to load, because it's a train. There's loads of people on board a train, and... 
trains, unlike trams, trains aren't designed for, for loads of people to come through the doors and in a single, like, swathe. Uh, whereas mass transit, you know, you've got the London Underground trains and trams and DLR trains and all of that. They're all designed with wide doorways so that lots of people can enter and exit the train at the same time. And that is one thing that modern trains are having that issue addressed right now. So Crossrail has uh, wide wide doorways and wide gangways and vestibules. Um, the new Thameslink trains no doubt will as well. And it's just easier, you know, makes life a lot easier to get lots of people on and off in a single, um, or lots of people on and off at once, I should say. It's not really a single anything. So... The fact that these trams take so long to load and unload it, it has always baffled me. I've never quite been able to put my finger on why that is. What I do want to do though is find the first vehicle on this list, which seems to be number 37 here. Uh, the next thing I want to do is put them all in order. Now this could be tricky. So we've got 37, I'm going to move you out of the way. We've got 38 here. 39 is here. 40 had to be the one that I moved, didn't it? Because it couldn't be anything higher than that. So you're 40, you go there. 41. Do we have a 42? We do. You go there. 43, welcome to the party. You will go there. And then we'll have 44. There, 45. And 46. The next thing I want to do is pin all of these. So the last thing I want to do is accidentally close down the window. And this is the most efficient way I can think of to reuse stock. Which is pretty cool. All of these vehicles are going to be reused. They're not lost. They're not gone. What's going to happen is, um, Preston Central is going to be the terminus of this line. And it's going to follow the line down this way. And then instead of heading up to Bardston, itself and then on to GSMA which is going to be extended this line by the way in the future um, you're going to carry on this way all the way down through all of these places to GSP slash MI so first thing to do is unshare that and then we go back to the top and we delete all of these. Okay, nice and simple. Now what I'm very pleased to say is this is going to be the only time we're going to have to do what I'm about to do here. So the next thing we do is we go up to Bar uh, Braston and we set this twice. And then we go there and then we go there. Okay. So you are no loading, no unloading. You are service. You are no loading. And then from Braston, we go twice to Braston West. And then twice to Lartburg East. And then twice to Guard City Exchange, which is going to become very exchanging soon. Need to put some more metro lines through here as well in the future. And then you come onto the new track. So Bardston Avenue, which you would think would have some uh, some catchment, but it doesn't. So if I do some fund new buildings, that might encourage new buildings to grow up on the road that we built to actually get this in a catchment area. Um, but anyway, from there you then come down to Rendingston and then from Rendingston to Trotting Hatton Trotting Hatton to Chatfield and then Chatfield to GSP cool we're gonna select this all of these are gonna be 300 how are you running late when you don't even have a, a destination yet oh wait no not 300, 350 my mistake. 350. There we go. And then this is going to be 
135. This is going to be 1350. Just make sure that's okay, because I think I pressed backspace at the same time. I didn't. That's all right then. All right, and now we just got to set all of these to be the same as number 37. So again, I'm going to pop this in the middle here and pin it. I'm then going to go number 38 here, right the way down to the bottom. Oh, one last thing I need to do. Again, I need to put this up. I need to pin this as well to stop it from closing. We're going to have so many windows open by the end of this. This is going to be T3. B, C, 2, G, S, P, slash, M, I. Like so. We're going to go into here. I need number... What number are you again? 37. 37 goes in there. 38 goes in there. 39 goes in there. 40 goes in there. And 41 goes in there. And if I go here... 1, 2, 3, 4... One. Uh, so what are you? You are 43, 44, 45, and 46. Okay, good. I can now close that window. Get rid of this. Scroll all the way back to the top and delete all of this. Now this is the cool bit that does save me some time. As I say, I only have to set the destinations once. Because now I go control, boom, all in, including the timetable, which is fantastic. The only downside is I have to do this for all of them first. Otherwise, it will affect the ones that are still on the same because you've got the groups and then you've got the actual schedules. Um, they are operated independently to my knowledge. Something might have changed and if that has changed I would be very interested in learning that because it would make my life again a lot easier. But for now at least we're doing it the old fashioned way. I don't believe if I click this one and delete it yeah it doesn't get the next one which is why I have to then go all the way up to the top again and select it just to be able to delete them all. It's a pain in the backside, I tell you. But Bruston Central finally gets its use as a terminus again, which is good because it's built to be a terminus, and for a while it wasn't a terminus. Now it is a terminus again, and it's you know it's a big tram stop. I compare it to St Peter's Square in Manchester, which is currently being um, rebuilt from a two-track uh, two-track station to a four-track station as part of the Second City Crossing 2CC project which is basically building a second line across the city of Manchester to ease congestion on the Metrolink line that's already there uh, which is a good idea in theory the only bit that I have a problem with and again I probably missed something on the plans um, they're, they're splitting the vehicles going through the city centre which is fine but at either end of that city, second city crossing, you end up with two lines going back into one again. Which to me suggests there's going to be an awful lot of bottlenecking going on on those particular junctions. I don't think there's any stops there. And uh, Victoria is at one end of it, which is a three platform station anyway. So it could probably accommodate the number of trains that are going to be coming through. The other end of the line, I'm not sure if it is at Piccadilly. It might be somewhere else. But it doesn't It doesn't feel like it's uh, it's set up for it. You know, it feels like a bit of a mistake. That could just be me not knowing the full ins and outs though. I say I sort of when it comes to things like that, I know little details about the project. I don't know the full the full details. Like I know they're extending the um tram lines in Birmingham as well. I say in Birmingham, this one's in Wolverhampton. It's gonna go from the centre of Birmingham to the centre of Wolverhampton. So you'll actually have a city centre to city centre tram line, which is pretty cool. It's the first time in a long time that that's happened. Um, especially in the Midlands. I've said this before. 
especially with Croydon as well. Trams were very common back in the day, uh, and then they all got phased out and replaced by buses. And it's only in recent years that they've started withdrawing the buses and replacing them with trams again. So it's almost the reverse of what was happening um, sort of like 40, 50 years ago. In some ways it's quite good, in some ways it's not so good because it's quite expensive and especially if you look at the Edinburgh project, the Edinburgh tram project was chaos in terms of how long it took to build what eventually was only, I think it's half of what they were initially intending and how far of a budget it was and the whole thing was a mess. I think a lot of people got in trouble for that. That is not a good example. A good example is Manchester. The Manchester Metrolink carries more passengers than was anticipated. And every time they open a new line, um, more and more car journeys are replaced by tram journeys. Which is good for everybody. It's good for traffic, it's good for the environment. You know, it's a win, 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 win all around. Everybody wins. And with that, we come to our last tram. Now the next thing I wanted to do in today's episode was start building the electric lines out of St. Michael. But this has gone on for almost half an hour now. So the episode is pretty much over, unless... What is today? Today is Thursday, isn't it? I could do an hour-long one, but... I mean, people have said in the past that they want them a certain length of time, but then I did a recent poll, or I did a recent question, and, and that those who did reply said they wanted it over half an hour. So I suppose it's it's about attention spans, and it's about, you know, who's... Who wants to watch long videos? Who wants to watch short videos? Personally, I quite enjoy watching long videos. Um, I think long videos are cool. The reason I like it is because if I do lose interest, which does happen, it does happen, I'm not going to lie, um, you can always pause it and then come back to it at a later date. Which does make a big difference. Right, these vehicles are underway. I'm going to release them all in one go, which is probably not going to do me any favours. The next issue I have is I've then got to close all of these by hand because I pinned them. So all the way down. I think for this episode I will make it a little bit longer, just so I can get these electric lines underway. Because then the other thing I wanted to do was make the station bigger. Um, we have the high speed lines here. I think, I could be wrong, but I think it would be a good idea to have some semi-high speed platforms also at St. Michael. So you remember what I did before was I had um, best way to show you this would be to actually build it I suppose. But I had like, oh that's not quite gone to plan. I had uh, sort of siding platforms so the tracks would diverge and then there'd be a stop and then the train will head off again. Um, I'm going to do that again, but not to the same extent. Not many trains are going to use these platforms, which is why I'm not going to put too much effort into actually building them to a specific standard. Um, let me show you what I mean. Let me. I'm going to do that for now just a placeholder, and then I'm going to put more of these platforms in. Because I say this this particular station is going to be huge. You know, very, very big. Very big. So I'm going to do this all the way along to there, I would say. And then just fill in these gaps without making any mistakes, preferably. There we go. Right back up here. This is going to serve a range of different destinations as well, this station. I say it's going to go off to the west, it's going to go to the north, it's going to go to the south. You name it, it's going to go there. Right, and then finally the schedules. Uh, you, 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 and you. We'll go for the single-sided and we'll grab you stick you there, put the schedule one in and then we'll go down to the benches and we'll pop you in. Now there's going to be some kind of fancy plaza going on here. Uh, I do need to put the buffer stops in as well. 
I mean, this is something I could probably do off camera, but I might as well do it now because I know if I if I leave it until the video is finished, I will forget, and then people sort of five six videos from now will be saying to me that station's not finished. And if there's one thing I hate, it's thinking I've completed something and then having to go back and do it because I actually haven't completed it. That is incredibly irritating. I'd like to avoid that at all costs. Right. You are part of that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How long is this, by the way? How long does this have to be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So actually, it's not that long in comparison. I might make these platforms longer. Because I've got these ones down here at ten. I think ten is a good number. So I'm going to keep that at, at 10 and I'm going to go back and extend the other ones. Uh, there's no point in me doing all that landscaping because all of this is going to be flattened down anyway when it comes to um, connecting all that up. The next thing is to do the other side here. As I say, not, not many trains are going to use these platforms. The all stopper high speed, so the one that will stop at every single high speed station along the way, will use these platforms. Most trains will just bomb straight through the middle. It's kind of like, because um, I, I say high speed, I should also use the word international, really. Because Guard City Exchange is kind of, it's like my St. Pancras. Um, there's going to be international trains using it. If you can call them that. I mean, I mean, I can't even get my words out now. This is technically all one country. Don't get me wrong, it's technically a one country, but I would like the idea of representing the Eurostar and the way the Eurostar works. So this is like Stratford. This is like Stratford International. And then over here, we've got St Pancras International. And speaking of, of that, I'm going to extend this now. So it needs to come out by two more, doesn't it? Which I can actually do without having to move this tunnel, I believe. So if I go to British Station Platforms again, uh, what are you? You're six long, aren't you? Six tracks by two. That makes it a nice, cool... Is that even the right type? Am I missing... I think I've got the wrong type. It's not city. It's not rural. It's not sub... Oh, is it suburban? If I do that, what does it look like? No, that's not the one. It must be British. It must just be the way that um it must just be the way it was all set up. I might as well do this type. Six by two. Or six by one of just bench sorry. One yeah, six by one of just benches. There we go. And then the benches and the planters at the end there. There we go. That's much better. Okie dokie. And then this will come to there. We'll have a gap and we'll do that. This one will come out like this. And then across like that. And then we'll have another one like that. That just introduces that, uh, that variety that we have going again. Right, we'll pop the signals back in. And there you go. The new exchange platforms which are now longer than the existing exchange platforms by nearly double which is cool and then we got the here so this is actually it's kind of like the original Waterloo uh, when Waterloo International was added because then you've got Waterloo East which is really this line that goes up to GSG and then we'll come back down this way and we've got these platforms again so at this point I should point out that all of these lines are not going to connect up with each other so this platform here is not going to connect up with this platform here. The mail lines will end up sort of splaying off in different directions. But the idea is we have got how many platforms here? 16. And there are three routes. So it's roughly five platforms per route. So 
one, two, three, four, five, you are going to come across like that. I can tell you that now. And then we might as well make this one go like this. Like so. And to be honest, we'll make that one zip in as well as a crossover. And then all of these ones, these six, will connect up together. And again, we'll get rid of that one, we'll get rid of that one. And we'll pop you in like that. And we'll pop you in like that. Okay. Now we can start putting these these crossovers and stuff in properly. So let's uh, lower some more land. This, meanwhile, will end up being a really long tunnel again that will come out somewhere else completely. And we'll carry on with our very, very long high-speed line. It's going to be much bigger than the old network, obviously, because the map's bigger. Um, but also, in terms of strategy, I'm going to plan out the high-speed lines a lot better as well. So we end up with uh, a much more efficient network. Because I think the last one was severely lacking in certain areas, so I'd like to make up for that. Also, actually, I don't want this to be four track. I want this one to be two track. Because I, I believe I have said in the past that uh, not all of my main lines will be four track. Some of them will be two track, and this is a good example of that. So you and you will be the main lines coming in. And if I pop that there, and there you have it. You have a nice little uh, four-track mainline station. This, on the other hand, that's going to come across like that. We'll have one here as well. Um, this will have come out like this. This will have there and there. And all of these will be linked up. Like so. Uh, which does mean I'm going to have to lower these down a bit more. Like that. One, two. And then here, obviously, we've got the six going in. So this is going to be a big main line. This is going to be the main main line. I can see us having to pull that bit down as well. So these are the four lines that will be leaving GSMI. And we'll have that one do that. And then up here, I think I'll have another one like that and like that. Here, I'll have one that comes right across like so and like this. And then one there, one there. And pop those in. So there's, there's a rough idea of the junctions. And I said we'll come to the male ones later because the male ones will end up going off in all directions. Um, so I want to make sure that that's all set up and ready. And also, I think the mail will take goods as well. We'll have goods being delivered as well as mail. I think that will go down well. There you have it. It's it's in a cutting, this line. Uh, the majority of this line, most of these lines will be in a cutting. And, yeah, there's not really a lot left to say, really. This high-speed bit, I'll dress up in the future and then we've got this huge space back here to work with as well might even end up moving the trams back here like I said I would or I'll use it for something else maybe um, things that spring to mind that I could use it for a what have we got heli station we can pop here on the hill or a heli depot I think I like the idea of a heli station maybe maybe not um, if we get some water coming in here, we could use it for ferries. Although, how quite we're going to do that, I'm not entirely sure, because we've got tunnels running underneath. I suppose if I push this along, like that, we can have some ferries here as well. But there's there's loads of opportunity for us to, to properly expand what we've got here. Plus, I haven't had the chance to read your comments yet from uh, from Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday's episodes, so people might have already come up with some good suggestions. I'm very looking forward to reading. Very much looking forward to reading. Let's get my English right, shall we? But uh, that just about does it for today, guys. Just about does it for today. We'll come back tomorrow, Friday. It'll probably be end up, end up being a long episode again. Another hour one, maybe. And I want to get more of these lines going. In fact, I say it's the end of today. It's not the end of today, because I want to plan out some lines. Out of GSMI. 
I want to plan out some lines. So let's let's do this one first, shall we? As I say, this is going to be the main western line. So Batbra, we'll have a station at. Um, Great Chendingbury. And then Fort Rinborn. Not a bad place. And then at this point, we'll go across to New Drenhatton. And we're basically going to go in a straight line to the west. I say, this is the western main line. It's pretty much going to go straight west. It might veer off here and there for um, certain towns, if they're the right size, to, to be linking up with our, our network. So here, for example, I might start turning a little bit to the... Actually, no, I don't want to be turning a little bit to the south. I want to go through Trun Tundhatton and then down here to Drinborough. Because Drinborough is a very good spot for our first little um, interchange station. And then from here we'll go to Frenfring Bridge, Gee Town, Lunning Hall. Uh, we'll have a big bridge across here to Mundwood or Flintborough, Fl Flintborough slash Mundwood. Um, and then Flondborn. Again, we are pretty much heading in a straight line here. I do want to put a little turn in somewhere. So let's see. Down here would be a good spot for a turn. We'll have another interchange station here between uh, Fuborn Bridge and Linding Hatton. And then Sleetown. Nice little bridge here as well. Uh, True Town. Why not? Put a small town on the network. And then. Blunt food. At this point, I'm deliberately heading down to the south more as well. Just so that there's a tiny variation. Straight lines can get a bit boring. So, a little variation here and there doesn't hurt. Ooh. Frenton, another great example for a, an interchange station. I think the east-west link might end up linking up to this line as well. Or having a link to this line even if it's not the main link. Just because I say this is the one of the main lines to the west, if not the main line to the west. So it would make sense if the east-west link actually linked up to the main line to the west, which it, we've reached the western limit. Have we actually reached the western limit? I cannot believe that. Okay, well, in that case, this line's going to have a terminus almost straight from the off. And that terminus is going to be up here at uh, Flomping Bridge. Like so. And then it's going to follow this line all the way along. This map does feel smaller than I thought it would be. It's a bit of a surprise, actually. I thought it would be bigger than this, but oh well. Yep, follow this line all the way along, all the way along, all the way along. I suppose when you follow it back, it is actually quite long. When you first plan it out, it doesn't feel as big. Yeah, it's quite a long way, actually. <laughs> that is quite a long way. Right. Um, we'll then put another new line in for this one, because this one's going to just almost immediately head north. Um, I think we should also stop at... Actually, we'll stop at Wennington. We won't stop at Batbourne here. And then here we're going to start turning to the north. This is going to be the one that links up with the main line out of GSG. So that will be joining us shortly, I'm sure. If I sort of keep going this way, we might accidentally stumble upon it. Um, small turns to the east, maybe, just to, to play more into our favour. Like so, like so. Yeah. We'll have another station here at Fennington. And that line will head off that way again. We'll carry on heading north. And eventually we will meet the line again. So I've got to be careful because it will be heading, there you go, heading almost directly across the direction we're coming in from. So at this point, we do want to start heading this way. But there's loads of cool towns here that we can go through that are perfect. Uh, let's do one there. And then again, we'll almost meet up with that line, but not quite for Inverhill and Flunborough. And then I suppose if I go 
if I go here and then here, we'll have another one there where it almost links up but not quite. And at that point, that one will start turning north again. We'll head this way for a little bit longer. So at this point, we're, we're right up in the hills. It'll probably be a two-track line at this stage. Just because we're, we're negotiating huge slopes, tight turns. Um, but then we'll come down here to Renborough. And then we're basically there. And that's that one. The last one, and again, I didn't want to do all three of these. But because they're quite short, I might as well. You know? It makes sense. So where's the last one? The last one's going to be part of what Michael Thomas was saying. It's going to be part... Did I get your name right? That would be awful. Michael Taylor, sorry. Sorry, Michael. Uh, part of what Michael Taylor was saying, that yes, the London Overground Network is more than just third rail. And I did like that idea, so I kept that in my head. Uh, these platforms then... Let's, before we get too excited with all this. These platforms here I am going to shorten slightly. So that I can fit it in with, with what I want to do. So there's five tracks here. Let's take it right down to that. Plus, um, let's get rid of that one as well. Let's get rid of all of these actually. Right the way back to basics, like so. We'll go back to the single sided for a second. Just to pop these in. You and then you're a bench, aren't you? Oh hang on, no, these need to be islands still. CTA, yes. Bench, yes. Schedule. Yes. Right. Now if I go to single sided, I'm just gonna pick a generic shelter. Probably this one, because it's nice and modern. One track, five length, was it? Four length. I'm just going to pop you in like that. Cool. Actually, no, you do need, you do need one more. Cool. And then we're going to go down to the buffer stops, and we're going to just choose you. And we're going to stick you there. Because this is going to be a much shorter station. One, two, three, four, five. That will do. And if I pop you there. No, wait. Other other way. You there. And then we'll have... Actually, no. No, no, no. I do want it that way. You there. And then... Um, no, no. It does work best the other way. Sorry, guys. Dithering, dithering, dithering. It's what I do best. I dither. Right. You are part of that station. And then these ones. There and there. Cool. Now I can go back and I can pop, pop these, uh, these platforms in. So. Let's have some nice planters at the end. Except it doesn't go there. And I probably shouldn't really have planters because I can't replicate those. Pop you there and there. Although I'm actually going to instantly replace those. Um, I do want shelters here as well, actually. Shelters look cool. Like that. They just look cool. Don't ask me why, because I can't possibly tell you. But they look cool. Then we'll put some signs in. And then we'll have... Oh, I might need some underpasses actually let's put the underpasses there and there and then I can put benches down at the end like so these underpasses will say are under the canopy so you don't have to worry about them that'll yeah that'll do and again we'll just say they're under the canopies makes it easier for me single sided we are nearly at the end guys I promise we are nearly there. I just suddenly had this uh, this fantastic inspiration splurge. Wanted to get it out before the end of the episode. Um, again, we'll just pop these in. I w I'm I'm gutted that they don't have a single track version of that shelter. 
because it does look really cool. I like it a lot. Maybe it just wouldn't work as a single track. But I always feel like if you're going to do a single track version of something, you might as well do a double track version of it as well, and vice versa. Right, now I'm going to pop in this this last line. So you're going to come out from here, um, and you're straight away going to stop at, at uh, Darnbury. And then from Darnbury, you're going to go to Fooding Hall, and then Fooding Hall, you're going to go to... Um, That's a good question, actually. Where are you going to go? I kind of want it to come back into the city. I'd like a station at GSG for this, actually. I think that would be cool. So I almost want you to do like a, a 180 degree turn. So let's... Do that. And from there, you're going to come around to Lardhead Cross. And then from Lardhead Cross, you're going to come over to New Dradingbury. Actually, let's go to Grinbridge first, and then we'll come across to New Dradingbury. And then from here, we're going to go straight through. We're basically following the line of, uh, of M1 here as well. But we want to stop at GSG, and then from GSG, we want to turn and start heading north. So, actually, no, we don't want to do that either. I'm trying to avoid the existing metro lines. It's very difficult because they're all in the same blooming spot. Yeah, this is trickier than I thought. Let's not do that then. Let's not do that. Let's just have this as a an out of town line. So again, you're going to go to uh, Darnbury and then you're going to go to Fruiting Hall and then from Fruiting Hall you'll come across to um, Plondingston, Slet Bridge, and then you're just going to carry on heading up this way. What I, I like the idea, if we stop at Rooting Hall, I like the idea of, of connecting with the Metro here at Suntbridge South. And then I suppose this is almost like a little branch way, it's just connecting up some of these slightly smaller towns that the main line isn't quite reaching. Um, plus we'll have it connect to the odd big city like uh, we've got here. And this can go up you know, steeper slopes and all of that stuff. It's branch line. I'm not too bothered about keeping speed up necessarily. Um, we'll come this side. We'll have a nice little connection here. So might as well do that. And then from here we'll come back out this way to Waston. Gainingworth. Let's see, this is like Eye of the Needle stuff here. We're kind of crossing between two main lines. Um, but I think it will have to terminate soon. There's a good spot. There is a perfect spot. So like that. Uh, Plaid Hatton might as well. And then we'll have it come through here and then it's going to come up into Fort Hampton via two new platforms which are yet to be built. And that pretty much does it for today then guys. So we've got those three lines planned out which is fantastic. I'm really happy about that. I will have to remember which three lines that they are, so when I load the game up again I don't lose them. So we've got the Great Western Main Line, or the Western Main Line. We've got the Northwest Railway, I suppose we could call it. And then we've got this, which is yet to be named, but is technically part of... It's like a suburban rail network. So it's it's a bit like what the um, the S-Barn is, in that it connects up. Or a bit like the RER as well, actually. It connects up... Um, outskirts the city to the main city itself. In the future, of course, I could extend this line and have it a bit like God, God City St. George, and actually have it come through Chatfield and then have it... I keep saying have it. Maybe even go as far as God City Exchange. Build some new platforms for that. Who knows? What I do know, though, is it is the end of the episode. This episode is an hour long. Can you believe it? Next time, I will be putting this line in first. I feel like that's better. And then next week, we will start focusing on these two main lines here. We'll start with the main western line, and then we'll add in the northwestern line. So, until tomorrow, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and of course, if you're enjoying the series. Drop some comments down below for ideas for future episodes. And until next time, I will see you soon.